So welcome, welcome to more Goosebumps the game. You hope the situation resolves soon, you'll never get used to ghosts living downstairs. So this was the part where we were we were in the with the ghosts. So uh, we should we should try and talk. Let's see. He mumbles quite he quietly as you approach. I want to hear the song, but I can't find it. He digs his foot into the carpet nervously. If I look, it'll wake mom and dad. Sure. So um, should we go upstairs? You sent the stairs to rooms unknown. Whoa. This staircase connects the first and second floors of the house. Right. We can slide. What's up with these portraits? Hmm? Oh, there we go. So the left hall, you jump up the stairs into the first hallway. You stand in the upstairs hallway, which seems relatively untouched. Okay, so we should try these doors. Mm, open this one. Feels like someone's on the other side holding it shut. Except for this one. That study is locked, like it is, like it always is. And he's out of town. The key should be around here somewhere. So we need a key. I. Wait, that's the that's our locker key. That that one won't work. That one won't work. So let's go back. So let's go downstairs again. We return to the first floor. Right. So let's. Where can we go again? We can go. What about the door? Hey, did I did I open this? Right, strange energy. So we should go on the archway to the dining room. Okay, she's still seated. Mm -hmm. Waiting for you to strike up a conversation. Oh, so... You think I should try that prune juice? Mm -hmm. But we should strike that conversation first. Uh, tooth green spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, fix jinx. Come give me a big kiss. Okay, um, let's try that. You walk to the woman and then lean to her wrinkled cheek. It's clammy and loose. She smells like dust, mouthballs, and some spice you can't quite describe. That's better. Now your Aunt Dahlia poured a glass of pure juice. Your favorite. Down the hatch. Go ahead, drink it. It smells. Oh, you hold your nose and take a large gulp, hoping to finish it as quickly as possible. It burns as it slides down your throat. E. Oh no! Suddenly your muscles tighten, and exhaustion creeps over you, and your vision blurs. You feel older. Your shoulders hunch, and your chest sinks closer to the table. A raspiness grows in your lungs with every breath. You think it might be nice to. Oh no. So she's laughing, and. Do not drink that prune juice. Okay, back here. You'll never get used to ghosts living downstairs. Well, who wouldn't? So let's... Shall we go back upstairs? I think I missed something. Also, I should try these... I mean, the tools that I have. The toys! So let's try and give those toys to these ghost... Ghost um, children. The old shoe. To the young boy. You made him sad. What about the toy truck? I made him sad again. What about the toy dino? Let's just, let's, um, what about if I talk to the blonde boy? He looks towards me. I live here, you know. I hate going into the basement. He looks away, embarrassed. After a moment, he continues. You believe me, don't you? What about the girl? Then she starts shouting. It's supposed to be here. Get out of my house. Strangers aren't allowed in. Go away. Go away. Go away! She glares, willing you out of existence. Can't fool me. She grumbles, I, I was born on a leap year. I know things. Let's try and go back to that kitchen. 
She's awake. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. There's something in the sink, right? Like this. What? What could I use? Hmm? Fridge. I mean, I already opened the fridge, but. Open it. Oh, right. I'm not supposed to open that yet. What about. Oh, we could use these. Maybe. Maybe if I try to. Move. Eh? I'm in a new area. What the honk? The den is where you, the family gathers to watch TV or just hang out together. You don't want to hang out in this version for too long, though. I wonder why. Film. Take. We got a film. Maybe we'll find a camera later. A remote. Okay. This clock. So let's look a closer look at the clock. Oh, I remember this clock from one of the episodes. But I can't remember what it, it like. A skip in time. Yeah. Different years. They demonstrate just how old this clock really is. Turn on that television. Door open. It leads to the laundry room. Oh, okay, let's go that way then. This is the laundry room. The laundry room is an oddly welcome sight. At first glance, it appears exactly like you left it at other than an extra door. The dryer is running at the moment. Right. Could be a ghost dryer. So, <laughs> we can smell the basket. Ugh. Okay. There are two doors here. Let's look at this one. The bathroom is locked. No response. There's a closet. Oh, whoa. Shall we go into the move? You step away from your safe, normal laundry room. Into the abyss. Whoa, the fruit of infinity. Wait, I want that. You can what the honk? Look, another film. Maybe you'll find the camera later. What, what else can I pick up? Well, only doors and... Let's try this one. Don't, don't. It says don't, so... Yeah, I guess none of these doors would help us, so let's just go back. Back onto our laundry room. Let's open this door. This should be our uh, backyard, right? So it's peaceful, allowing access inside through the laundry room. Yes. I'm gonna try and go this way. Hmm. Oh, we can open this mailbox? You open your mailbox hoping there's something in there for you. Ooh. Coupons. Yes. And a letter. What does the letter say? Okay, you don't recognize the name. It could be... huh. To that sidewalk and to our front... front door. Should I show, should I show this letter to those kids? Hmm? To the girl? Ah, 
You just wanna take all my stuff. Well, you can't. I locked my room. Okay, show this, show this letter to the boy. Okay, he doesn't... What about the blonde boy? <gasps> he takes the envelope eagerly, confirming his name on the address. He tears it open, reading the, the enclosed letter with much interest. What else? He's disappearing. As he reaches the end, the ghost looks to you and smiles. He seems to be at peace. Just as suddenly as he appeared, the child fades out of view. You feel his presence, leave the house gently. A moment later, the basement door unlocks with a resounding... Oh, the basement door! Ooh! Photo paper. Oh, oh the, the basement? This, this... Outside? No, I didn't want it to go outside. There's not much to do up here. It is annoying when somebody locks your bedroom door. Okay, so let's try going this way. The top of the stairs. Oh, there is a the new. This hallway crosses over the entry downstairs to the furthest reaches of the house. Just portraits. Who's there? But not without some effort. The frame seems a little warped. What about another door? But nothing will open this door. It's being held shut. Let's go inside. Touching a bit of falling plaster as you pass through the doorway. It's just a dead end. The hatch in the ceiling should lead to the attic. Oh, this is... Whoa. There's not much... Yeah, that's... Hit. You can hit that pipe. You slam your clothes first. You're ringing from the pipe and in your ears. Pain rings on your, your arm too. You hear a doll grinding all around you. It, is it coming from the walls? What about the attic? It's too high to reach. The room is shrinking. Oh. Should we go go back? This hallway crosses over the entry downstairs to the furthest reaches of the house. We turn to the first floor. So we still have these ghosts. Should we show them these coupons? Hmm? No, she doesn't want it. What about this envelope? She said all my stuff. So what should I give her? A remote? Purple stuff. Drink. No, wait. Prune juice? No. Ah. Oh. I should definitely... Oh, no, I don't want to go there. Go back. Into that archway. How, how can I do... Like, what can I give to this strange woman? Or more of that prune juice? Here. She grins. Duck into the kitchen. It's impossible to ignore the tripping sound. Oh yeah, oh yeah, what was, what's up with that tripping sound? <gasps> we can open the pantry. More purple. PB. Peanut butter. 
counter. Feel. Laminate. That's certainly one option. 